Hello YouTube, once again we are back here at Sandy Shores, fellow mystery hunters and this I Ching, this triagrams right here like on the left side we have mountain from the rectangle and four squares that's mountain then the bottom section that are six squares that is earth okay and then on the top upper right we have fire which is square uh, rectangle two squares and one rectangle and on the bottom part two squares two rectangles that is lake so we have on the left mountain and earth and on the right fire and lake all right so I'm gonna show you a location which this view from north to south may be possibly linked to all right so here we are at the location uh, this I Ching and Sandy Shores may be pointing out to from the view north to south all right I still yet have to figure out what could uh, the I Ching mean from south to north all right because on the back we have a mountain that is Mount Chiliad and right behind here we have the Vinewood Hill this is another mountain right here and to the left we have Mount Josiah to the right we have Mount Gordo right back there is the Alamo Sea behind all that all right so uh, it starts off mountain earth fire and lake all right I don't know in what order but what I've been looking around here in this particular area is this strange uh, squares over here that kind of looks like the six squares from the I Ching horizontally and vertically pointing out to earth okay so there we have it earth earth and facing straight mountain right um, this very same symbol over here let's fly around the mountain right quick here uh, not to mention that that vine wood ball from the sky people say it's a key all right but to me the area where the people sit it looks like a Wi-Fi signal call me crazy but it kind of does all right so right around the back we have the same thing all right from each opposite sides of the mountain we have something symbolizing earth kind of like that on the I Ching and the triagrams horizontally and vertically all right six foot six squares horizontally and six squares vertically there you have it right so that being earth and the Vinewood Hill being the mountain uh, again Trevor is the one that meets up with Marnie up here with a bike race and he starts uh, saying to her I love you and all that and th then they walk down this trail right here end up in the road to hit that other trail over there leaping around the mountain right here the hillside and ending up in these shacks all right so we have here uh, we have earth we have mountain Okay, and right next to all of this we have Lake Vinewood I'm like whoa alright so we have lake here we have earth and mountain so the, the, the order is where I'm kind of mixed up alright at first uh, I thought it was over here but this is the Land Act Reservoir and then we have the Alamo Sea and then we have Lake Vinewood. Okay, uh, it is on the only place on the map which clearly says Lake, just as in the triagrams from Sandy Shores. Okay, in a north to south view. Now you get you get different you get something else in a in a in a south to north view. All right, so uh, here uh, in this is where the area where it all points out we have around here Galileo Park alright we have the Galileo Observatory out there and 
weirdly enough, Michael, Michael's missions from the observatory is dead man walking. And then Franklin in this same location around here uh, meets up with a dog he can speak to and finds out that Dom is hanging out from a tree somewhere around here, all right? And then uh, over there you get the mission with Trevor that is the bicycle race with Marnie. I am doing research around this place. I'm trying to figure out uh, where can this lead to. I'm paying close attention at different times of the day in this mansions up here because we get the sniper rifle in the observatory with shoot from the stars, shoot for the stars, all right? And when you stand on that balcony, you can see this pool back there, all right? You can see this other pool with the house back here. Maybe we, I mean, there is, again, there is 60 random events. I only managed to come up across 36 all right uh there's got to be some random event around here we have to find out I, there's some random events up in the desert where this policeman is chasing a uh, a, a, uh, a man and then you can just like knock him off so he get caught all right uh, this particular place up here antenna uh, on the online weirdly enough Trevor having that bolt on his hand we have the mission called satellite communications where we have to steal the trailer from here and deliver it all right uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that has to do with one thing and another and I will show you later on about the hangar in Fort Zancudo that is different from the online and the story mode all right there's two differences from those from that very same hangar with the 0101 all right which is a binary for a binary to decimal it turns out decimal number five comes up then the badges the soldier have uh, the number five with special projects all right so uh, coming over here uh, I've been looking for a binary code. Let's take a look at this right quick. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Alright, so after seeing that, uh, Trevor again is one of the uh, characters that points out to this possible location, alright? We have a song about that mentions in a, in a secret at the fingertips, alright? Um, here I managed to, ca to, to catch something uh, particularly... Uh, Kind of, let's say weird, all right? Um, I don't know in what order I should follow this, but it is clearly a binary code here in this wind farm. And uh, we all know that Trevor plays around with important rage figures. He has an important rage uh, figure in his in his trailer. Uh, the the. Uh, the cartoon show Impotent Rage itself, how I found out that Impotent Rage has that swirl on its finger, all right? So, you can see some of the windmills are on and some of the windmills are off. I don't know if you have to start off, 
if you have to start with the count from following the road or just trying to figure out from the height in which order this all of this goes and another thing let's change this right quick here uh, let's put this at midnight by settings and right here we can see that the windmills that are on have the red light on right and the windmills that are off don't have a red light on so taking the idea from the let's say clown that came up with uh, the T1 and T2 doors tunnel that he said that the lights had a message that one, uh, on is one and off is zero and it's a default message when you go to the binary translator in cryptic uh, the 13 lazy fox jump over I don't know how, how I can't tell the whole sentence but taking that uh, idea here in the wind farm all along like some of the windmills are on and some of the windmills are off so I figured hey wait a minute so when I came and took a look at night uh, same thing happens with the lights we the one that are on have the light on and the ones that are off have the light off so on is one and off is zero now again the problem is what order do you have to go through about this because uh, maybe you can start off in the road and follow the road and do this certain order here but when you come up to here and the road divides th that's a problem right here so I mean it is very difficult where to and as you can see you have like loops around the ends all right like turning around maybe there's an intricate uh, message here I'm trying out every possibility trying to get something else some something out all right uh, as you can see it goes all throughout the the wind farm some are on and some are uh, some are off in certain order all right so I'm trying out every possibility on here uh, I will stay tuned to that if I can manage to get anything I invite you guys to try this out try to get ones and zeros and start translating it maybe there's been something here all along according to the binaries because just like I showed uh, from dead man walking we have agent Dave saying there's something in the shadows uh, data algorithms all right and finding this about in Sandy Shores about the I Ching and uh, having to do with this guy uh, Gottfried uh, Leibniz uh, being the father of cybernetics uh, have, uh, finding a fascination with the I Ching because it corresponds to the binaries of ones and zeros okay um, the hexagrams within themselves are pieces and frag fragments of clues all right so let's jump over here right quick and head to another location to explain something briefly and that'll conclude uh, this video so here we are at the vineyard and at, I thought uh, people started uh, speculating about this could possibly a Morse code but it's not it's possibly an Easter egg from which is uh, how data is written on a CD all right these are called lands and pits and each change between land and pit is a one and no change at all is a zero uh, I did a lot of combinations I put a lot of effort and time into this place I tried different slabs I don't know if I'm doing something wrong because then you have uh, 8 to 14 modulation I'm not sure if that applies to this I'm not that good at math just I was just trying to uh, let people know that maybe they're, they're all along this has been a message here which could still possibly be I'm not sure maybe it's another way who knows uh, who knows if it's uh, a Morse code within itself all right but uh, the the main uh, 
look of this it's like data how it's written on a CD all right and having two hoots falls here and uh, totem of an owl being uh, uh, sacred knowledge all right uh, having linking to uh, sacred geometry as well but I found something really uh, I found something really 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 shocking about this uh, I was mirroring the the map and uh, I managed to find an, an owl and it almost kind of looks like this okay and uh, I will get back to that uh, as I keep investigating and doing research about the I Ching and what could it possibly mean I'm still working on the south to north and trying to figure out what what does it lead to how does it link I do not myself know if it ties with something else or does it link with something else that's why I just try to get this known that this thing has been there for three years it's clearly talking about binary and algorithmic information theory about this guy I mean it goes very very deep it takes a lot of time to choke up all that information and bring it forth all right you guys as always keep on hunting there is something big out there